So, Sophie, uh, you probably watched uh, <laughs> 10 different TV shows, all the websites. What's the take out here? Let me guess. The ABC loved it. It wasn't enough for The Guardian. The Australian thought it was too uh, not enough and Sky News had the best coverage. Of course, Paul, of course. <laughs> Look, I was in budget lock-up this afternoon uh, and then we were obviously let out at 7.30 when uh, Dr Chalmers started to make that speech inside Parliament House. But I was listening to the ABC tonight, Laura Tingle, uh, talk about the budget and I'll just... Uh, I jotted down a few notes that she said and she said, the days of raiding the welfare budget and sly sledging of welfare recipients seem to be over. Labor is trying to reunite the the uh, sorry reunite the rules and ha make a more compassionate oh. country. So I'll let you make of it what you will. That's the ABC's <laughs> hot take. Uh, but look, I think obviously from the media point of view, the headline that we've had for days is surplus, surplus, surplus. This is obviously something that whether it be Liberal or Labor, they were always going to pat themselves on the back. It's short-lived. Uh, as you said at the top of your program, Paul, this will only last a short time and then we get down to the real situation with deficits. So uh, there's a lot of talk about Medicare, uh, obviously rent assistance uh, and various other things in the budget. But I think overall uh, there are concerns of what, what will actually be the impact for households and will we see... Uh, uh, you know, changes to our budgets because, Paul, let's be realistic here. We've got soaring inflation uh, and we've got interest rates, what, 11 rate rises in the past year. So let's get down to the real reality of households over the kitchen table. This is tough and it's not going to get much easier, I don't think.